Elon Musk is constructing a huge Starship rocket factory at the SpaceX testing site in Starbase, Texas. This unique project will churn out Starship and Super Heavy rockets at an unprecedented speed, surpassing anything ever imagined in the aerospace sector. Let's explore all this in the video. Starbase Evolution We are witnessing the end of a significant chapter in SpaceX's journey. After four years of development, testing, and occasional explosions, the Starship rocket is well on its path to becoming a fully operational, super-heavy launch vehicle. Alongside this newfound maturity for Starship comes the necessity to refine the processes and infrastructure surrounding its manufacturing and deployment. When SpaceX first settled in Boca Chica Village a decade ago, the landscape was barren, consisting mainly of sand, water, sparse grass, and a few mid-century bungalow houses. These remnants belong to a failed attempt at town development in the 1960s, forgotten until Elon Musk's arrival. By turning back the clock on Google Street View to 2011, one can witness the transformation of the area from desolate scrubland to the bustling starbase. SpaceX faced a daunting challenge as they began building the initial Starship prototypes. With limited resources, their early production methods resulted in somewhat crude-looking spacecraft. However, this has been emblematic of SpaceX's ethos, trying, failing, and relentlessly improving with each iteration. As progress marched forward, temporary structures like tents, or sprung structures as engineers termed them, began to dot the landscape. These evolved into more substantial facilities such as low bays, mid bays and eventually high bays, allowing for more sophisticated assembly and testing of rockets. The transformation of the production site mirrored the evolution of the rockets themselves. What started as flying water tanks gradually morphed into sleeker, more refined designs resembling actual rockets. Despite setbacks, including spectacular explosions during the middle era of Starbase from 2020 to 2021, progress continued unabated. In the past year, significant changes have occurred. Explosions once commonplace upon impact now happen mid-air, a testament to the strides made in engineering and safety protocols. However, alongside advancements in rocket design, the production site has undergone the remarkable evolution becoming the true heart of SpaceX's innovation and progress. Starbase transformation, from tents to star factory. In late January 2024, we witnessed the dismantling of the last of the three primary production tents at Starbase, marking the definitive conclusion of an era we've been discussing. Almost as swiftly as the tents came down the star factory emerged, SpaceX is moving at remarkable speed to establish a permanent structure on the premises, destined to become a massive manufacturing center for the Starship. This development is a pivotal component of SpaceX's grand scheme to colonize Mars. The demand for Starships is immense. In 2022, SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell articulated her ambition for the construction of a new Starship upper stage every single day. By 2023, her vision extended to the launch of numerous Starships daily, if not hundreds per day, to meet such unprecedented demands. The teams at Starbase must grapple with the challenge of mass-producing orbital rockets, a feat never before accomplished. The closest historical comparison I can draw is to the mid-1970s, when the Soviet Union was constructing approximately 60 Soyuz rockets annually, albeit with fluctuations. Presently, NASA struggles to manufacture even one SLS rocket annually, at an exorbitant cost of around $4 billion per launch. Clearly, this is a monumental undertaking. How, then, does SpaceX intend to achieve this feat from a single factory in the remote Texas desert? SpaceX's Mega Bay, revolutionizing Starship construction, to gain insight into the operations within a Starship factory, we can examine SpaceX's construction procedures. Over the years, SpaceX has erected a series of vertical assembly buildings at Starbase, starting with the Low Bay, Mid Bay and High Bay and recently expanding into the Mega Bay. Currently, the Low Bay and Mid Bay have been demolished to make room for the Star Factory construction. Another Mega Bay has just been completed, signifying the future of Starship construction. In the Mega Bay, one building will be designated for orbital ship stages, while the second will be dedicated to super-heavy boosters. These structures serve as assembly points for rocket stages, where prefabricated ring sections are stacked and welded together. Elon Musk has indicated that SpaceX has been widening these buildings progressively to accommodate more working stations within each bay. This expansion allows for the simultaneous assembly of multiple ships and boosters. 
This expansion is evident in a wide-angle photo shared by SpaceX, showing three fully assembled boosters on engine installation stands, while two partially assembled boosters await their turn on the sidelines. Each mega bay has sufficient space to accommodate a total of five rockets, with up to three being worked on simultaneously. These towering buildings function as general assembly areas, while the more intricate manufacturing processes occur in the lower sections. Manufacturing Process In the initial phase of Starbase, SpaceX technicians operated within three lengthy tents, serving as their primary production lines. However, these tents have now been replaced with a permanent factory structure reflecting the ongoing expansion of the facility. The transition might appear somewhat amusing, akin to Tesla's approach in manufacturing the Model 3 and Model Y. Instead of conforming to existing factory spaces, Tesla erected giant tents in parking lots starting afresh. This strategy allowed integration of new manufacturing techniques, such as the Giga Press casting machine, the largest die casting machines globally. Given their massive size, these machines couldn't simply be inserted into existing factory floors. Consequently, Tesla initially set up their first Giga Press under a tent at Fremont, using it to build cars. Once proven effective, they incorporated these machines into their new Giga factories. Similarly, SpaceX's manufacturing process begins with the reception of raw materials, such as giant rolls of 304AL stainless steel. These materials are then cut, formed into rings and welded to shape the straight sides of the ship and booster, four curved components like the nose cone and interior domes forming the tops and bottoms of fuel tanks. SpaceX receives panels of stamped and stretch-formed stainless steel, which are welded together. The original three tents represented different components of the Starship being manufactured concurrently, divided into sections for the top, middle and bottom portions of the spacecraft. Each tent had its specific focus, with one dedicated to Raptor engines and the lower thrust section, another for ring sections and domes comprising the body and fuel tanks and the third for producing nose cones. This approach allows SpaceX to manufacture key segments simultaneously on the ground, which are then assembled at the main assembly bay. The segments undergo stacking, welding and final touches, including the installation of engines, wings, grid fins and actuators. The recent transition to a permanent factory structure marks a significant shift bringing enhanced security and privacy compared to the previous open tent setup. The new factory building, taking shape in an L shape initially, but evolving towards a U shape, promises around 800 feet in length and width with a 60 foot tall roofline. This transformation provides SpaceX with a substantially larger covered production space, facilitating a more streamlined manufacturing process. The final factory layout is expected to be more or less square in shape, offering approximately five times more total production space than the original tent setup. With the foundation nearing completion, SpaceX aims to achieve a production rate of one Starship per day. This massive production volume is crucial for fulfilling Elon Musk's ambitious vision, where Starship not only replaces existing SpaceX fleet, but also serves as the backbone for missions to establish self-sustaining cities on Mars, in addition to supporting NASA's lunar landing program. Thanks for watching.